Today, I'm going to be talking you through the features of your new next generation Mitsubishi Triton. My name is Mike Manson, and the team at Simon Lucas Motors on the North Shore would like to congratulate you on your purchase of your new generation Mitsubishi Triton. Right, the nice thing with the Mitsubishi Triton as well, you'll notice that we work on a smart key system here. So basically what I can do is if the key's in my pocket, I'm approaching the vehicle on the door, yeah, there's a little button. If I push that, you'll notice the car's unlocked because your mirrors will come out straight away. And if I want to lock the vehicle, that'll obviously move in. The other nice thing is if you're in a rush for whatever reason, and you accidentally leave the keys inside the vehicle, if you hear this noise, it's just letting you know that something's not right. Chances are the keys inside the vehicle that won't lock. An important thing to remember is that once the vehicle's locked, your car is immobilized. But what if this battery goes flat on your actual key fob? The car will let you know beforehand. You'll actually see a symbol arrive on the dashboard of a little key with a line going through it. But you know, tomorrow's another day and you forget. The problem then is if your car is locked, how do you get inside the vehicle and start it up? So if you actually look at the key here, there's a little slot there. You can pull that back, key comes out. You unlock the door manually, make sure that you put the key back in. And when you jump into the vehicle to start it up, this is how you do it. Foot on the brake. You just hold the fob over the start button, push start. It'll still recognize these keys to this vehicle and start it up so you won't be stranded in the middle of nowhere. So obviously before you do a road trip, there's a few things you might want to check under the bonnet. Your bonnet release is situated down here. You just give it a tug and that will release the bonnet. Right, so to open up the bonnet, just above the B here, there's a little lever you slot to the left. That will slot in over here. And Mitzi's been very clever here because everything that you need to check is actually got a white cap on it. So we've got our brake fluid situated at the top over here. Very important is your windshield reservoir. Make sure that's full all the time for your trip. And of course, your engine oil. And then to pop it back down again, you just take it out of the little slot here, pop it down, and just drop the bonnet. Obviously, when you're going on your trip, you want to make sure you've got a full tank of diesel. So to find that, just over here, you give that a pop, and that'll release the cap on the left-hand side of the vehicle. Right, you'll notice with a Mitsubishi Triton, when this is opened up, you've got your diesel on the left-hand side, but you'll notice here we've got Add Blue. Now, this Add Blue, the vehicle will take 17 litres, give you roughly 17,000 kilometers. When that does start getting low, there are three warning systems on the vehicle to let you know that you've got to top it up. Right, if you ever need to use your spare wheel, if you come to the back seat, there's a little tag over here which you'll pull, releases the seat. If you pop that down, you'll notice here we've got our T-bar here, you've got your jack, and you've got your wheel spanner. What you need to do is take your T-bar and just slot it through this opening at the top here. And when you unwind it, it'll drop the spare wheel, which is located underneath the vehicle. The other great thing is the Mitsubishi Triton, very versatile vehicle. One of the big changes is it's now 3.5 ton towing on the Mitsubishi Triton new generation. So obviously when you're doing a long distance trip, you want to get your position set up properly, but you also might want to check your tire pressure. And if you look on the inside of the door here, you'll notice a label here and that's where your tire pressure should be set at. Great thing with the Mitsubishi Triton, it is a little bit higher, so we've got excellent running boards over here, and if you look at our hand grip points, if you're getting into the vehicle, we've got one here, another one here, and of course for your passengers in the back, nice and sturdy here, and of course you pull that down over there as well. So with the Triton, the VRX model here, you'll notice it's full leather, and the driver's seat is fully electric. The great thing here is if we pull that forward and back, we can also lift the seat up, down. We can also tilt it. And what that does is just release a bit of pressure on your legs. We've also got our rear adjusting situated here. And the great thing is lumbar support. Once your seating position's all set up, the nice thing with the Mitsubishi Triton range, they've all got telescopic steering. So there's a little lever over here, and you just pop that down, 
And you'll notice that the steering wheel now can come towards me, in and out, or up and down, which is really, really good to get a really comfortable driving position. Now that you've got your seating set correctly, your steering set up correctly, the next thing would be your side mirrors. So you'll notice on the side panel here, we've got your side mirror displays here. This over here would be to adjust your left mirror, your right mirror, there's your arrows up and down, and if you want to bring your side mirrors in and out, you can just tap that there, and that's that function. Right, so to start the vehicle here, simple push button start located over here. You'll notice that with the VRX model here, the big plus is we've actually got a heated steering wheel situated here. So if that orange light comes on, it's activated. You've got a heated passenger seat with three settings and also a heated driver's seat with three settings. That is, is to demist the front. This is to demist the rear. It's dual climate control. So I could have my temperature running at 20 and my passenger could maybe have their temperature running at 23 and a half. Nice piano button display here. This would be your fan speed. That's to circulate the air within the vehicle. That's auto. And basically that's to put your aircon on and off. And that's your different mode settings to where you want your aircon running. You'll also notice that it's got a wireless cell phone charger here. That means if we just put our cell phone on this pad here, you can charge your cell phone. We've got a Type-A and Type-C USB port over here. All the two-wheel and four-wheel drive models will have rear diff lock. Hazard lights are situated here. The other great thing is with the Mitsubishi Triton now, if you look at the double cabs, we've actually got split storage over here. And massive deep center console storage as well and these just close nice and easy like that one of the really nice things with the Mitsubishi Triton is our 360 camera and the clarity so you'll notice if you want to pick up anything in front of you on your SDA system here if we push our camera here you'll notice that we've got a forward view and an aerial view of the vehicle as well as our turning trajectory so as I turn the steering wheel we can see where we lined up if I tap the camera again that's my front left wheel so you can actually see how close to a curb or a drop off you are and if you just want one big wide shot you'll notice that that comes on straight away the other beautiful thing is if I put the vehicle into reverse my camera comes on immediately so here we can see our tow ball aerial view but I can also change the angles that I'm looking at on the vehicle. One of the nice things is our audio system here as well on the SDA system. So if I tap audio there, you'll notice that it'll give us our radio stations. It's so easy to program a radio station on this vehicle because if I actually hit the FM menu here, I can go to refresh. And let's say, for example, I'm looking at programming station, George FM, for example. I'll hold that down now and that's programmed. The other nice thing is I can actually voice activate my radio stations as well. So if you look at your steering wheel here on the right hand side, anything to do with the vehicle, you'll notice that there's a little talk button here. If I tap that fast, please say or select a command. Audio. Audio. Please say or select a command from the displayed list. Tune 89.4 FM. Tune into 89.4 FM. The other nice thing is how easy this car's built-in navigation system works. So I'll just run through that with you. Once again, if I give a quick push here, and you'll see how it prompts me to say things. So if I go, please say or select a command. Navigation. Navigation. Please say or select a command from the displayed list. Go to address. Street address. Please say the address in New Zealand starting with the house number or starting with the street name if a house number is not available. 33 Northbrook Close, Green Height. 33 Northbrook Close, Green Height. Calculate route, adjust location or change address. Calculate route. Calculating route. That's how easy the system operates. Nice thing is on the SDA system over here, it's got wireless Apple CarPlay and also Android Auto. 
and with Android you just need the charge cable but I'll show you how easy it is to set up I'm on an iPhone so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings I am going to go into my Bluetooth make sure that's on I'm going to go into my menu here connections I want to add a new device Mitsubishi Motors will show on my phone pair up allow you can see my phone's now linked up here I'm going to now use my CarPlay and there's my phone the beauty about that once again here's my phone screen copulated up here let's say for example I want to send somebody a text message once again, if I go down to the talk button, anything to do with my phone, I just hold it down a bit longer. So I can go, send Connor Manson a message. What would you like to say to Connor Manson? Love you, boy. Have a good day. It says, love you, boy. Have a good day. And it? Yes. Done. The other nice thing is I could go, What's the weather like in Auckland today? Looks like it will be pretty windy in Auckland today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 17 degrees with overnight lows around 13. So please note that anything to do with the phone, you've just got to hold the talk button down slightly longer. Anything to do with the vehicle, if you're running the vehicle maps, you've just got to give it a quick push. If somebody phones you, Next to your talk button here, you'll notice a little phone off the hook. That'll be to answer and to hang up. And if you want to go back to your main menu, you just tap that screen there, and there's your little Apple CarPlay symbol. Tap that there, and it'll take you back to your Apple CarPlay. Nice and easy. The great thing with the Mitsubishi Triton, if you just look at the way the steering wheel is designed, everything's operated directly off this system over here. So just to give you an idea, if you look at your adaptive cruise control, you've got a couple of scenarios here. If I tap that over there, that's my limiter. That's the top button here. So let's say, for example, you're in a built-up area and you don't want to go over 50 kilometers an hour. What you do is you tap it down to set, minimum 30 kilometers an hour you can see here. You then just hold that up, take it to 50. That means if I drive normally, as soon as I get to 50 kilometers an hour, the car's almost governed out. Just below that, we've got our adaptive cruise control. So what that means, if I tap that, you'll notice that we've got different settings on the vehicle. So if you get to 100 kilometers per hour on the motorway, you'll just tap it down to set, take your foot off the accelerator, and if the vehicle in front of you slows down to 80, 60, 40, this vehicle will automatically slow down without you hitting the brake. The other great thing over here is you obviously want to set your vehicle up properly. So you'll notice that everything here is controlled. If I go to the top part here, You'll notice there's my settings, just by using my arrows. Once I get into my settings, tap it down, it'll open up a screen. And if you scroll this up and down, so there's my driver's assistance. So that's my lane departure warning, which I've put on, my lane detection prevention, emergency lane assist, and I'll turn my lane sensitivity to strong. Just tap the back arrow. My blind spot warning indicators are on now. What that means is in the side mirrors, we've got blind spot warning indicators. So if you, for example, driving and there's a car coming up on your left hand side, in your side mirror, there'll be a little symbol that will glow in bright orange. It's also got rear cross traffic alert, which means if I'm back backing in a busy shopping center, they'll both flash on the left and the right hand side and it'll say rear cross traffic alert. Just lets me know there's vehicles coming from the rear. Go back into my system here. We've got our emergency braking front and rear. So this vehicle's got forward collision mitigation, prevents you driving to the back of somebody, and it also prevents you actually backing into an object as well. Go back. You'll notice it's got tra traffic sign alert. I can put that on or off. That's that symbol up there that's saying 50 at the moment. So if I'm driving and the signboard on the motorway turns to 100, that will then turn to 100, and if it flashes, it just means that you're going too fast. That's your speed limiter link. We've got our parking sensors. So in other words, we'll pick up moving objects, display, front and rear. 
and then we can actually change the distances here so I'll move it to far go back and then we can turn the volume of the sensors up so I'll put it up to high go back again and you'll notice there we've got our front cross traffic alert which you can either put on or off rear cross traffic alert driver monitoring system so this here is a camera and what 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 it's doing you'll notice that if I put the car to drive and I put my hand over here for example can you see what's happening it's saying driver monitoring system temporary not available what what, what the car is doing it's picking up for example my eye contact on the road if I'm dozing off and if I'm not focusing and driving the way I should be that'll activate and go off you can however deactivate it if you'd like as well you'll notice I put it off there now and the little symbol of an eye is situated there that will now say off drive attention alert as well then you've got your eco settings so a really good way of driving is eco cruise control and eco climate control tire pressure on the VRX model over here, it'll actually give you what your tyre pressure is in the front and the rear. That's obviously your clock, your clock modes, and you can obviously change your times, etc. from here. There's your vehicle settings. So your lighting, you've got a welcome light, auto room lamps, central locking. So basically what I've done is I've selected the vehicle to bring my side mirrors in every time I lock the vehicle and bring them out every time I un uh, unlock the vehicle. And then you've got your wipers, speed sensing, also set to automatic and intelligent washer. And if I scroll now, because we set up with a vehicle, you'll notice that once I get to this particular screen here, I can change different things. So if there's three little dots there and I move this up and down, it just gives me different things I can do on this particular screen. Scroll the arrow, that's my radio station. Let's say, for example, I'm running my navigation that I set earlier on. On this particular vehicle over here, it'll actually give me my arrows left or where to turn, etc., with the street names. Once again, I can change things over here so we can actually look at my, my different trips. There's my tire pressure while I'm driving. I can see what my tire pressure is. There's the information of the vehicle. So if I tap this down, you'll notice that what uh, will happen is it'll give me different readings on this setup. So if I want to, for example, go back to plan my trips, I can reset everything by holding this down. Reset all. Yes. You'll notice everything's gone back to zero. Scroll it over. And there's my home base with different functions that I can do on this particular screen. So this is very, very nice to operate. You'll notice that this here is my audio volume. And this is if I just want to flick through my different radio stations, I can operate it from there as well. So very, very easy to operate. And you'll notice in my driving position here, everything's controlled just from here. If I look at the stalk, I'm just going to move the steering wheel slightly here. Put the volume down, sorry. You'll notice that here, for example, that's my automatic headlights, right? That's if, I've, uh, that's if I want to operate my headlights manually, and that's automatic dimmers, just by pushing this button in here. But auto is always a very good setting to be on. And then you'll also notice with my wipers, I can set it, that's off at the moment, but put that to auto. So basically means I can op operate the sensitivity as well. So if it rains, the more water is hitting the windshield, the faster the, 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 the wiper blades will go. One of the great things with the new generation Mitsubishi Triton, if you've purchased yourself a four-wheel drive model, is we've got our Super Select four-wheel drive. And basically what that means is the following. It's a 2.4 twin-turbo diesel with a six-speed auto box. The nice thing is once you've started the vehicle up, on your Super Select four-wheel drive, the great thing is I can actually go from too high, just by turning this dial here, to four high at speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour and if I'm getting to extreme stuff I would basically just take the vehicle into four high lock and you can actually see it activated up there what that means now is I can actually choose the terrain I'm on so you'll notice there I've got mud sand and normal and if I'm getting to extreme stuff I then put into four low lock 
it'll tell me to put it into neutral position. You'll notice it's now deactivated things like all the safety elements, my traction control, forward collision mitigation. And you'll notice I can now change the terrain I'm on to rock, which is extreme stuff or normal. And I can also now activate my rear diff lock. Rear diff lock will only engage if I'm in four low lock or four high lock. And to go back, I just turn the dial here. Take it back in. Back to four high. And then back to two high. That's how easy it is to operate. And the two-wheel drive version, you're obviously not going to have this system here, but you will have rear diff lock. Right, with the Mitsubishi Triton here as well, you'll notice that if you don't like your auto stop button, you can actually deactivate it by pushing that button in there. What that means is basically if, if you a set of traffic lights um, and you are stopped, um, the engine will cut out. As soon as you tap the accelerator or turn the steering wheel, the engine will come back on again. This over here is basically your light adjusting for your dash display here, so you can make it brighter or dimmer. You'll notice there we can also tilt the headlights up and down. So if you've got a big load in the back, you can basically drop the headlights down or bring them back up. And this system over here, that's just your lane departure warning. So if you want to deactivate that, you can just push that button there. Just remember that this vehicle is five-star ANCAP safety rated. I've gone through all the features and how to set it up. And the other nice thing is you've got your ISA fix point situated over here for car seats, etc., for the little ones. The other nice thing is we've also got the kiddie locks which are situated right here. So if you've got precious cargo in the back, you can just make sure that that's all nice and safe. And you can also control the central locking from inside the vehicle. And obviously, if you don't want people playing with the windows, you can just tap that button in there. And there's, you've obviously got all your electric windows situated control-wise there. The other great thing in the VRX model, and this is lovely, we've actually got cup holders situated right here and also on the passenger side. That's good news. Right, with the Mitsubishi Triton, the double cab, you'll also notice a great thing here, we can actually now lock the tailgate. Right, the nice thing with the VRX model Triton over here, the new generation, is we've actually got an air circulator over here, really good for passengers in the back. So what it does, it takes your air conditioning air here, pumps it through here, and your passengers in the back can actually control where they want the air blowing to, and they can control the fan speed that they'd like off these controls here. The other nice thing is if you have a good look over here, if you're looking about your interior lighting situated here, that's obviously for your driver's passenger, and if I'm going down here, lift that up there, you'll notice you've got a mirror there, and as a driver, I've got exactly the same thing. So very easy. And also, tap this here. Good storage for your sunglasses as well. Guys, just remember, your Mitsubishi Triton, the new generation, will come with the best warranty in the market. A 10-year, 160,000-kilometer powertrain warranty, a 5-year, 130,000-kilometer new car warranty, and also 5-year, 130,000K roadside assist. To hold this warranty, your vehicle would have to be serviced every 15,000 Ks or a year, whatever comes first, at a Mitsubishi dealer. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. Please like and share, because this can also help anybody else who has joined the Mitsubishi family. And once again, the team here at Simon Lucas Motors would like to thank you for your business, and we wish you many, many happy kilometers ahead of you in your new generation Mitsubishi Triton.